And good evening, folks. Hey, color. So we're going all the way back today in the uh, the World of Subways series. This is the very first one. <laughs> so I uh, grabbed it on sale a few weeks ago and just fired it up for the first time today. So we're going to see if we can actually get this thing streaming. Um, it's got some quirks, kind of like World of Subways 2 does. But uh, I, th I think it's working. Um, so it's kind of got this weird thing, same thing World of Subways 2 does is the main menu for some reason is at a different resolution than the rest of the game, so it doesn't render full screen. But when you actually come into, you know, uh, a piece of the rendered game engine like this, then you can see it. It does render full screen, so it took me some time to kind of get that kind of set up and confirmed or what have you. But, uh, seems like it's working okay now. So they kind of have the same, uh, viewer mode in um, World of Subways 2 where you can go in and look at the uh, the rolling stock in 3D. This one actually comes with three different uh, EMUs. Um, but this one, they have this in World of Subways 2 also, but it's, it's a little bit different in that. Like this one's kind of got these these 3D blueprints, or not 3D, but the, you know, it it's got these blueprints wrapping you around on the wall, which is kind of, kind of cool looking. Whereas the one in World of Subways Two is just kind of like, looks like it's in null space. It's just emptiness, you know, other than the locomotives. So it's kind of weird. But uh, I think the the locomotives themselves, the uh, EMUs, they actually have some decent detail. Not too bad. Um, actually, can I walk inside? I don't think I can, but, oh, I can. I didn't know I could walk inside. Okay. That's cool. Hey, Bam Bam. I'm doing all right, Bam Bam. How are you? Oh. Okay. I did not know I could walk inside them. That's actually kind of cool. Um, where's the cab? <laughs> cab is on that side, but I don't think I can walk inside the cab. I can kind of walk up to it, though. You playing the same thing, Bam Bam? Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then they have these other ones, two more of them. Uh, first two are kind of similar in appearance. I mean, they're both two doors and they have these great big windows on them. I mean, big windows. Bam Bam, how was your Christmas? Get anything good? And I guess this is the newest one. At the time the game came out anyway. But this one you can see has three doors. Uh, 
that's the back end, I guess. Bam Bam, you got a G29 for Christmas? Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's what I have. But yeah, the, model is, the models themselves are nice. They have some nice detail. Not too bad. Yeah. Can't go inside that one for some reason. That's weird. For your PS4? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it works with the P it works with a PC too though, you know. So you can use it with your PC also. Cause that's what I have, but I only really use it with the PC. I don't have a PS4. Yeah. Can't open the door. Stream about the G29 on Sunday, okay. Alright, so yeah, one thing I had a problem with when I first started using this game was trying to balance the sound. It's just... It's really, 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 really loud when you first start the game by default. So, <clears throat> anybody watching, if... Uh, the sound, if you have any feedback about the sound, let me know. I think I got it balanced, though. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, this game came out in 2008, so I'm not sure what, what year it's based in, but came out in 2008. Two thousand? No, well, the game itself came out in 2008. Um, I think it's after 2000, though. Because they have construction on the World Trade Center in here. And that happened after 2001, obviously. So, um, Hey, Earthbrows. Yeah, holiday was nice. How was, how was yours? And how was your birthday? Let's see. Um, Trade Center Hoboken... Lots of fun. Trip was great, and the holidays were very chill. Good. Good. How was the aquarium? All right. Let me see which one do I want. I think I'm going to take a shorter route as a warm-up. Super cool. Okay. Yeah, I imagine it probably would be. <laughs> uh, the bro says, caught up on some gaming, finished my gift deliveries, and ETS too. Okay. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I still have two gift deliveries left. <laughs> but, you know, now that it's after Christmas, I've kind of lost my motivation to do them. Um, but, you know, may, maybe I'll do them later in the weekend just to knock them off. So I got 10 out of 12 anyway. Totally fair, yeah. All right, let me see. Uh, this is only a 10-minute route. It's a very short route. Um, what time at, okay, about 8 o'clock. So yeah, they have AM schedules in blue, PM schedules in red. So, let's see. Let's do a PM run. Select train, so yeah, we have... 2R, the 3R, and the 4.
Yeah, I'll start with the old one. At the browser, you have uh, you have time off during the week, like you're off for the holidays. Uh, Bam Bam said, I can't fix my destination display on World of Subways 1. Really? Yeah, I know when I started playing this, I had to remap, like, a lot of the controls, Bam Bam. So, like, you might have to do that. I mean... But I had to do the same thing when I started playing World of Subways 2. There's a lot of controls by default that are not mapped. That's a mistake. Don't do that. So yeah, destination display is there. So if you hit control, then it locks, you, locks it so that your cur cursor is usable. And then you should be able to just change it like this. And I forgot where I'm going. What's the, where's my route going? Uh, World Trade Center. So yeah, you should be able to just do that, really. Uh, Caller says, getting open BVE vibes from this, yeah. Uh, Ethelbrell says, uh, not really, though I do most of my work with consultants and can only work when they get stuff back to me, so... Since most of them are gone, there's not a lot of real work to do right now. Okay, well, that's good. So not the most hectic time at the moment anyway. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Okay, um, what time is it? 8 or 9. It's actually time for us to go. Uh... So at least with this train, there's not a lot of prep. You don't have to charge brakes and all that kind of stuff. You just pretty much uh, drive it. This is a World Trade Center station train. Next stop will be Polonia Newport. Uh, how do you do that? Let's, uh... Actually, before I do that, I had to make me a little cheat sheet. Let me grab that while I can with the controls because now that I, now that I have 40 subways games I'm starting to get the controls confused so I had to make me a little cheat sheet just so I remember the key functions on each one because they're all slightly different um, there's some similarities between each of them but there are also a lot of differences so all right let me make sure I know which is which hey Donna Hey, guy. Um, Carl says, does it go above ground once you get toward the WTC? Yeah, there's above ground sections. Can you reset keys in any of the games? Um, yes. Yes, you can reset your controls in all of them. Um... So, I mean, the controls that you have in common, they seem to have similar, you know, keys usually, at least in some of them. But then there are other ones that just have completely different functions. So, well, I can't make them all the same because they have different functions. But the ones where they do have similar functions are, are, are somewhat similar. Um... Yeah, I saw Bam Bam. Laptop. Got you. All right. Uh, so. Do not quit. Also, there's like, there's no actual pause menu. 
in this one. I mean, it's being the oldest one, there's a lot of things on it that are very primitive, unfortunately. All right. Uh, how you doing, Donna? How was your Christmas? Einmal Kurzstrecke, bitte. Kurzstrecke, bitte. All right, we're running late. Let me get rolling Einmal here. Kurzstrecke, bitte. Kurzstrecke, bitte. the other doors. Guy, thank you for the host. <clears throat> Very enthusiastic conductor. <laughs> yeah. Except he sounds like he's chewing on gum while he's talking. So, not the best voiceover for announcements, anyway. Smooth animation. Being sarcastic, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, at least the now <clears throat> excuse me, at least the announcements in some of the other games are uh, a little bit more professional. I mean, I'm not even sure the guy who uh, did the voiceover for this game speaks English. <laughs> I'm not even sure he's a native English speaker. not the best feature in the game. The graphics aren't bad, though. Especially for a, uh, you know, 11-year-old game. Uh, Christmas is okay, guy. How was yours? Color says, but a lot of the modern ones have pre recorded announcements so they can just grab those. Yeah. Uh, guy who's working Christmas Day. Oh, really, guy? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, at least I had Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. At least I had Christmas Day off. But I, you know, worked every pretty much every other day this week.
All right, inside half a mile to our, f our first stop. So, guy, did you did you work a lot of hours on Christmas? Hopefully, at least have some time to have dinner with your family or something. Color said, I don't like how the car markers are literally under the track. The car markers? Uh, guy said, uh, Menkep had a party, the members, so they asked me to clean up on Christmas Day. What's, uh, what's Menkep, guy? Tricky brakes on this thing. Uh, color says like little three, four, five, six circles or markers where you're supposed to stop. Yeah. But they're right next to the third rail. On MTA, they have yellow ones mounted on the wall. Okay. Oh, I see him now, guy. I didn't, I mean, uh, color, I didn't even see him before.
opening the wrong doors. All right, first setting gets me about to about six miles per hour. Second setting gets me to about twenty. All right, speed limit currently is forty. Uh, color says, see, that's why I don't like them, because you can't see them. I like the new ones, because you can see them, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even notice them. Until now. Alright, so I I'm going to understand I have four forward speeds. Which is just like the one in World of Subways 4. So the controls are similar. But the speed ranges for each one of them is a little different. Alright, about a mile now to our next stop, which is our last stop. Quick hop. Our next stop is World Trade Center. It says MenCap is a UK charity for people with learning disability. Oh, okay. Um, they take out, just take them out to swimming, have barbecues, do all sorts of things. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay. So at least if you have to work, if you had to work for Christmas, it was for a charitable cause. That's not bad. Hopefully, you didn't have to work too many hours. Okay. Now, see, oh, ah, uh, I derailed the train. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't decelerate before that curve fast enough. Uh, guy said had to work four hours. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, I'm okay. Well, unfortunately, it was. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough that I derailed, but it missed what I was trying to sh trying to show, which was uh, that you can see in that area the World Trade Center is under construction. So that tells me to you know to your question earlier, call it a time period. It has to be at least after two thousand one, and I think from what I read in the manual, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm, let me see if they say specifically a time range but I know the game itself was published in 2008 but I don't know when the uh, if there was an idea of you know a certain time period of mine Let's see. Yeah, they talk about the opening of the temporary World Trade Center station in 2003. Which is when they, they say they put the downtown tunnels back into service again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, matter of fact, they're talking about the 9-11 attacks um, in the manual. So, yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're talking about... Uh, they don't say specifically how far in. They do say that the most modern train that 
is uh, in this game, the PA4, entered service in 1986 to 1987. So that's the newest, you know, locomotive that's, that's listed here. But it doesn't doesn't make any more mention to specific you know time period within the game itself. But yeah. Uh, guy says they did say they would pay pay me, but I told them I would not accept it. Oh, okay. Well, that's good karma, guy. Hopefully that comes back to you in other ways. Uh, Carlos says, Steam wants me to know you started playing World of Subways 4 again. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, that's probably when I started, uh, I started up each one of the World of Subways games just to make my cheat sheet, you know, just to, to kind of make sure I knew the, you know, the, the, the key controls at a glance for each one so I can set it up quickly and start driving it quickly. So I'd have to dig through like the whole manuals for each one for the controls. Um, Cause you know, once I start driving them, then it all comes back pretty quickly, but I needed something at a glance to say, okay, this one, I just need these main controls and I'm good to go. All right, let's try another schedule. Um, so which one did I just do? Hoboken, the World Trade Center? I think I forgot. Might've been Newark. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was Hoboken. Yeah, because that was a real short one. It was only like 10 minute service. It's not that far. Newark. Uh, we can run Newark this time. I'm not sure I was, Newark is the one I ran last time, though, but you might be right. I, I forget. I, I think I ran whatever the shortest one was. Um. Right, let's see. So the PA4, PA3. We did the two last time. Let's do the three. And I will do... Let's do something midday. So at the barrels, now that you're back <clears throat> from um, your birthday trip and got through the holidays, what are you playing now? Actually, let me see. What time is it? Uh, all right, set up destination. Again, we're going to World Trade Center. And let me see. We leave in about 30 seconds. But before we do that, I'm going to actually walk outside a little bit. So, yeah, one thing that kind of drives me crazy about this is there's no run key. So, you walk, but you walk slow as hell. Um, now, one thing that's kind of weird is this is World of Subways 1. I kind of used to always joke about how World of Subways 2, the passengers are, are statues, right? They just kind of stand there. And you can kind of see similar thing here. But this being the first one, they did something different. Look at this. Like, for example, if I walk up to her, she's actually animated. See that? So it's kind of weird. They, they animated them here. But then in World of Subways 2, they didn't animate them at all. And then in World of Subways 3 and 4, they're fully animated. You know, boarding and everything else. So that's, that's kind of... Interesting. It's an interesting uh, design choice they made. Hey, Blast Pop. Merry Christmas. How you doing? This is a World Trade Center station train. Oh, and she checked her invisible watch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's my cheat sheet? Until I get the hang of it. Still need my cheat sheet as a crutch. Uh, let's see. Thanks so 
Forget the reverser. Here we go. How you doing, Blast Pop? How was your Christmas? Uh, Carlos says, I wonder if the guy at the turnstile will ever swipe his card. <laughs> Had a good holiday? Cool. Did um, your son come home last pop for a holiday? Did he come home from uh, from college? The exterior views are nice. Yeah, they actually are. It's a it's actually not bad, considering how old this game is. Um, there's only like one external camera though, but from what you can see, it's actually not too bad. Um, Black Blast Pop says yes, he is home. Okay, um, and you got the video card and now running TSW at max settings, 100 plus FPS. Oh, GG Blast Pop, congratulations. Which um, which video card did you get? Happier than a clam? <laughs> yeah. I bet. This is a World Trade Center station train. My stop will be Sean Square. Stand clear of the doors. Bro says getting a new graphics card is so exciting. Yeah, uh, Blast Pop, Blast Pop got the uh, GT sixteen sixty six gig from MSI. <laughs> nice, Blast Pop. <coughs> yeah, mine's an MSI card too. The last one I bought. All right, speed limit here is forty. Actually, just got reduced. Five. Five around this corner. Twenty. Yeah. Still not very smooth with my uh, handling. Still getting used to it. Uh, Blast Pop says, I have an MS MSI motherboard and you like their products, yeah. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, and I bet your son, uh... Hopefully your son's not totally bogarting your new uh, your new your new video card, right, on your system. <laughs> Don't derail this time, co color. No promises. I'll do my best, color.
Yeah, these switches is where it's tricky. Uh, Black Pop says he is doing busy. He is busy on his Mac, but doing graphics as we speak. Oh, okay. All right, speed limit increased to 55. I can go max throttle now. Woo -hoo -hoo. We got about five, four miles. Coming up on four miles to our next stop. Oh, I turned that down way too low. Well, speed limit decrease there. Slow down. through the switch. Reminds me of Lear from TSW. Yeah. Well, it is, it is New York. Did I get anything on the Steam sale? Yeah, I got, um, I got, I have to refresh my memory for a minute. Um, let me think about it. Uh, what did I get? Speed limit increase back to 55, basically. Another decrease here. So yeah, it might remind you a little bit of Lear, but also it has a lot of speed limit transitions like uh, NEC. At least this particular stretch does. And yeah, you can't take the uh, switches at more than 20, or you definitely derail. Uh, Blast Pop says you got a Somerset on West Somerset on TSW. Oh, okay, cool. All uh, Bam Bam says next stop is Journal Square. Yeah. Um, caller says I'm playing Open BVE because you made me want to play it now. Oh, you had that caller? I didn't know that. Uh, looking to pick up a German railroad for TSW? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, most of the wrap uh, DLCs are on sale right now. So a good time to grab something if you got some leftover loot. Alright, just inside three miles to our next station. Journal Square. BRB Blast Pop, okay. Uh, Carl says I don't have T TSW, but I want to play the new one, okay. Alright, two and a half miles to our next stop. The new route you mean. Just realized I forgot to turn on the air conditioner. You get dinged on your report card for that if you don't turn it on.
But you know, for these being older uh, locomotives, I actually like the like the way the train is designed. I like the shape of it. You know, the big windows and everything looks pretty. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Not a bad looking train. Decrease to 25 through here, across the bridge. I mean, they did a nice job, you know, showing, giving you a skyline view and everything. Not bad, actually. I just wish I had more outside cameras. Alright, speed limit increased back to 55. Inside of a mall now to our next stop. the bros how you liking red dead now that she has some more time to get into it all right decrease to 20 now uh guy says my team played for men cap christmas party oh okay Otherwise, I can't have my one team pay every year for it. Oh, paid for it, you mean? Okay. Uh, they've paid for it every year for the past four years, you mean? Okay. That's nice. Sure is uh, the bro says I really enjoy it. Uh, it's more slow. I like that it's more slow paced. Okay. Still in the early sections. All right. also says, but I hear it gets a lot darker later in the game, so I'm holding off on moving forward to, and just enjoying it for now. Sounds good. Yeah, I've seen a couple playthroughs of it. Or at least parts of a playthrough. 
Uh, guy says, Koji, did you get anything nice for Christmas? Um, I did. Um, and I'm try I'm, I'm still trying to remember what I did get. <laughs> so. I'll check at the end of my, my service. Because I don't fully remember while I'm driving. My, my attention is split right now. Uh, hey, Recycle Basai. Hello and welcome and thank you for the bits. How you doing, Sai? How was your uh, holiday? Uh, Sai says it's been good. Finally get to catch one of your streams. Oh, thanks, Sai. Hopefully, uh, something worth catching. <laughs> Struggling with a new uh, a new train sim. I mean, a new old train sim. It's a very old sim, but I just bought it recently. All right, into the tunnel we go. Two toots for safety. So, uh, you get anything good for uh, Christmas? Pick up any new games or anything? Are we on on time, guy? No. No, of course not, guy. <laughs> you know better than that. <laughs> Especially me with me driving a new route. And a new train, really. Uh, Sai says, never played one of these. Did you own train sets as a kid? Yep. Sure did. Um, yeah, how many train sims do I have now? About five different ones. So, yeah, kind of... Kind of like, you know, the uh, thrill of owning a train set, uh, set as a kid, but... But um, takes up a lot less space, right? Nothing changes there then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Nah, don't expect miracles. I mean, this is only my first day playing this thing, so... Still trying to get my routines down. Yeah, we're about four minutes behind right now, guy. Okay? Game seems really nice for 2008. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I mean, knowing this was the oldest of the world of Subway's games, I, I didn't expect much, but it's, it's actually exceeded my expectations. I'm not sure how much I'll stream it. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We shall see.
Uh, so I said, just got a couple Steam games for myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, same here. Um, and I just, right now, with me trying to figure out how to drive this train and manage chat and everything else, I, I just have a mental block. I can't remember what I got. <laughs> so I need to look it up. I'll do that after the service. But, I mean, it, the tunnels and everything are rendered pretty nice. The outside views are not so bad. Um, like I said when I started the stream, the hardest thing was just trying to balance the sound. Because everything was really, really loud when I first started the game. So I tried to kind of, you know, adjust all the sound sliders and whatnot. I still probably have some more tweaking to do. Yeah, like I said, just, you know, still trying to get my routines down. Yeah, even on the platforms, look at this. They have like the uh, passenger information monitors. Everything is animated and works. That's not too bad. Actually, the lighting's not so bad. It's pretty well lit in, in different places. Is this in the U.S.? Yes, yeah, New York. It's, uh... Hang on a second. Where's my... There it is. Um, it's called uh, New York City, The Path. And The Path is an acronym for... I forget what it's an acronym for. But it's a specific, you know, root system. But yeah, this is the first one in a series of four games called World of Subway Sci. So the first one and the fourth one are both in New York City. There are two completely different lines, though. Um, the second one is in uh, Berlin, Germany. And the third one is in uh, the London Underground. The two. Um, I would say out of that group of four, probably the third one is my favorite. Um... But they all have, you know, different different uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, but I just bought this. I've been playing. I played the third one first, and I started. I start. Actually, I started playing Train Sims when I bought that one. Um, and uh, I forgot I was, my other point about that. Uh, Sai says I imagine the ones in the EU are less grungy looking. <laughs> Well, the ones in Germany are pretty, uh, pretty, uh, yeah, they're pretty, they're a lot cleaner than this, anyway. Um, yeah, the ones in New York are very used looking, I'll put it that way. Very used. Well worn. Weathered, even. Color says I make it ding for being upside down. What color? <laughs> What are you talking about? Did you uh, flip your train or something? What do you say? What's, what's that about? Hmm. 
All right, inside of a mile now to our next stop, which is World Trade Center, which is our last stop. And let me make sure I don't derail this time, because I want I want to kind of show off the uh, detail around the construction site a little bit. Uh, Carlos says, I don't know, I hit the brakes and I was driving upside down. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Carla. Uh, Sai says, curious, what's the appeal of these kind of games? I get the appeal of trucking simulations. Um, well, I mean, for me personally, I like simulators. I mean, the appeal is different for everybody. But for me, I like simulators because I get to experience, um, you know, operating machines and and uh, vehicles that I have no access to in other ways. Um, so I'm interested in, you know, design, the engineering of it, the operations of it. So I, I like uh, I like simulators in general. And you know, there's a challenge to each each type, right? I mean, you know, flying a plane is different than driving a, a train or or even driving a truck. Um, And, you know, some kind of games, at least for me, are better to stream than others. So we made it that time without derailing. <laughs> Hi, Black Fox. Uh, Black Fox says, Lil Kojo wanted to be a train man, so he got train sim. Exactly, Fox. <laughs> and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. How you doing, Fox? So, yeah, so we're here. Um, you know what? see if I'm allowed to actually get off the train or will that end my service? I'm not sure. Nah, that's the end of the service. Oh, well. Alright, so not a great report card, but at least we finished the service that time. 35%. So a lot of stuff I did wrong. A little bit to work on there. Doing good? Okay. So, Sai, for you, you said you get the appeal of those trucking simulators. What What is the appeal, you think, there? All right, so real quick, let me check. Because I, I, I know I just bought something on a, on a holiday sale, and just for the life of me, I'm just totally drawing a blank as to what it is. Let's see, what did I get? Oh, I got, speak of the devil, I got, um, I got some DLC for Euro Truck and American Truck. Um, I got the heart, heavy cargo pack for Euro Truck, and I got Beyond the Baltic Sea, because that was on sale. And then I got, for American truck, I got the special transport pack. So some additional, you know, additional cargo, actually it completed a cargo bundle. It was cheaper for me to do it that way. And then I got for OMSI, I got the hamburger bus packet. So that's what I picked up. And they were all on sale. But yeah, for some reason I was just drawing a blank. I just couldn't remember. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the hamburger bus? Yeah, the hamburger bus packet, they call it. It comes with, uh, uh, three different buses, I believe. Designed to be used on, on, uh, Hamburg Modern. 
It was one of the ones Daffy's recommended. Daffy's and uh, I think Bam Bam recommended. The hamburger bus packet. And there's another one still on my wish list, but I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, it's called something like Three Generations. Something like that. Uh, Sai says, the whole routine of just driving and it's slight freedom. I just don't fully get train sims or vehicles on set tracks. Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. When you drive a, a, a truck, you're still on a set track. It's just a highway, right? You can only go where the highway takes you. I mean, a railroad is not really much different. It's just a different type of road. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the open road, so to speak, has a certain romance to it, I guess. But you know what? For, for, uh, um, for railroad-oriented people, so does, uh, so does uh, you know, long-haul railroads as well. But yeah, you know, I mean, why somebody likes or doesn't like a simulator is not really something you can, you can't tell somebody else why they should like a simulator, right? It's just, uh, it depends on, I guess, specific nature of, of their personality and things they're curious about. For me, I'm curious about big machines, you know? I mean, I used to play a lot of flight sims, but because of the, the learning curve on them, I don't have the time to play them anymore because it just takes too much to master. So I started playing train sims really as a way to kind of, as I often say, scratch that simulator itch, but without quite as high a learning curve. And I still find it equally satisfying. Um, and uh, let's see, size is true. Bam Bam says, love your live stream, Kojo. Thank you, Bam Bam. Um, so I says, oh, I got it. I'm curious. It's just been a while since I played a simulator. Yeah. And simulators, I play a lot on stream side because it's easy for me to, to operate a sim easier, rather. Because not all sims are hard, as you can see. Or easy, rather. As you can see, the way I just struggled through that service. And that was a pretty crappy report card. But it's my first day playing this particular sim, so I, I, hopefully I'll get better at it. But it's something I can operate the train and then still look at, you know, chat and interact with the community and things like that. For example, if I was playing something like, uh, you know, heavy duty, you know, fast paced Twitch shooter, you know, Gears of War, like you know, is one of the things I used to play or something like that. There's just no way I can interact with, you know, chat while I'm playing a game like that. At least, at least if I was playing, for example, a multiplayer, you know, uh, match, sometimes we play campaign, you can kind of, kind of do it. Um, so, you know, it, it depends. Some games lend themselves better to streaming than others because it, you have more freedom to interact with, uh, chat. Uh, Color says, I just can't play with FSX. I can't play FS FSX with keyboard and mouse because I don't know the controls. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I played, when I played flight Sims, uh, Color always had a flight stick. Um, you know, hot task control, hands hands on stick and throttle, as they call it. So, you know, one stick to control it, and usually the stick itself has, has a hat switch and some other buttons. And then another controller, usually for the throttle, and that usually has some additional buttons. And that's that's the ideal way to play a flight sim. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't play it with keyboard and mouse. You just... Uh, yeah, I respect people who can do that, but I, 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 I would never play a flight sim without, without a, a stick. Um, Sai says, I wonder if they have hotels for helicopters. You know what? That's a good question. I've never, I've never tried a helicopter, uh, Sim, Sai. Like with the collective control handle. Yeah. That's a really good question. I actually don't know. I mean, I've played helicopters in other games, but I've never played like a helicopter Sim specifically. So, yeah. I bet they do. I mean, they have, they have stuff out there for everything pretty much, right? You know what, before I start the next service, let me make a, another adjustment on uh, controls, uh, on the audio rather. Um, I don't know about you guys, I still think the train itself is a little bit loud. So I'm going to drop it another 10 points. And I think the, I think the announcements... Are probably could probably be slightly up a little bit, and I think the rest of the effects are okay. 
All right, let's see how that works. Um, Atherboro said, or anything else for that matter, meaning you can't really tell somebody what they should be curious about Atherboro. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um, so let me see. Game settings. Tottenham switch. Deactivate time and explore mode. Oh, I forgot about that. So this is an option where when you exit the train, just to kind of walk around the station and sight sightsee, it stops the mission clock. So I turned that on, but I forgot to try it. Um, also, you can act, have random failure events like mechanical failures and, and accidents and things like that. I didn't turn those on yet because I'm still... Still trying to learn the uh, the sum. Um, one thing they don't ha <clears throat> have on this one that they had in World of Subways 2 is they have missions. Like not just, you know, timetable services, but basically what Train Sim World will call scenarios. Um, we have specific duties and things to do, you know, mission types. They don't have like structured missions in this, but apparently according to the manual, if you turn on these accident activate incidents random events will happen as you drive through your service so uh, that might be something i try a little bit later once i kind of have my routines down uh caller says i mean i i have this cashier simulator on steam i got for like a dollar and it's so realistic to the point you have to put in protos codes and register people for cards wow <laughs> cashier simulator huh now that sounds pretty hardcore caller I mean, I was going to say what possessed you to get it, but you said you only got it for a dollar, right? So, uh, Color also says that I wish there was just a conductor mode for World of Subways 4. Okay. Uh, like AI drives and you're the conductor. Oh, right. Okay, I got what you mean. Because I was just going to say there is a conductor mode, but you mean you only do conductor and somebody else drives. I got you. Yes, pounding in the produce codes from my dream simulator. Totally right. <laughs> did you uh play much of it color uh let me see before we proceed what else did i miss anything else in chat um so let me see blast pop was here earlier i think he went brb but he said he got a new uh video card oh donna if donna are you still hanging out did you get your card because i think donna was looking at the same card blast pop got the uh, GTX 1660, I believe. Uh, color says it says five hours. Okay. When is it professional to publicly bash someone who's going through a hard time? Leave Brittany alone. Uh, you playing with dynamite there, color? Uh, Donna says no, not yet. Yes, it is a 1660 Ti. Oh, okay, it's the Ti. All right. Um. But you it didn't you didn't get it yet. Okay, gotcha. All right, hopefully soon then. Um, color says five hours. It's called Shoppy Mart. Okay. Okay, and I can't say I've heard of that. Um, let me see. I'm just checking to see if I missed anything else in chat before I do the next service. Uh, Black Fox said he had a good Christmas. But Black Fox did not say if he got anything cool for Christmas yet. Okay. Black Fox, if you're still lurking, did you get anything cool for Christmas? Oh, I missed what Sai said. Uh, Sai said, quick research shows there are some meaning um, hotas for helicopters, like a collective control and handle. Okay. So research so shows there are some, but they're very much DIY rather than straight consumer grade. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So I asked, is that a VR game that Color was talking about? You mean the uh, cashier game? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> uh, Black Fox says, lurking, but you're 15 seconds behind me. Okay. Uh, nope, went AI, all went for Mrs. Fox. How nice. Uh, what about your son? I'm sure he got something cool, right? 
Or you guys probably got him something cool. Uh, color style streaming later for you. <laughs> okay. Don't uh, don't put yourself out, color. <laughs> Only if you really want to. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let me see. Um. All right. Let's start up another service. Um. So I think I'm gonna try the short service that I tried earlier between Hoboken and uh, the World Trade Center, but I think I'm going to do it in the other direction. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Just give me one second. Um, Fox says uh, he got tons of goodies. Okay, your son, you mean. Yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> I mean, that's what Christmas is really for, right? Right, our kids? Pretty much. At least the best part of it, anyway. Uh, Bam Bam says, I'm streaming right now. Yeah, I know, Bam Bam. We, we know you're streaming, Bam Bam. <laughs> we know, man. We know. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a short hop between uh, World Trade Center and Hoboken because that's only 10 minutes, roughly. Uh, so let me pick a different train this time. I think I'll try the uh, PA4, the more modern one. And the only w way I can tell the difference between this one and the other two is this one has three doors versus the other one have has two doors. But the other two kind of have these great big windows, which I think look kind of cool. Um, the two A and the, the two R, the two R and the three R are very similar. It's very, very hard to kind of tell the difference except for the size of kind of these windows at the end. But this one you can tell right away because it's, it's three doors apparently. Um, all right, so let's try that. I'm going to try a, Let's try something in, in the evening. Let's see what the game looks like kind of at night. All right. Uh, let's see. So 10 p.m. ish service, something like that. Let's try that. By the way, Black Fox, you doing any uh, streaming this weekend? Or are you just uh, still relaxing for the holidays? Actually, you know what? This clock is redundant. So they kind of give you this, this separate clock monitor at the top. But there's a clock built into the main root monitor, too. So... <coughs> hey, Driggy. Metro 2033, the prequel. <laughs> yeah, how about that? All right. Uh, so I need to set the destination display. And where's my cursor? can't see my cursor tell you what let's reload that that does not working uh droogie how was the uh the uh christmas party at your mom's I remember saying that you uh you were expected to make an appearance all right let's try that again Still the PA4. And try that. And Black Fox says recovering. Okay. So recovering rather than streaming. Okay.
Uh, Drugi says party was okay. Was just there to hang out with her friend Corey. Your favorite of her friends, okay. He wanted to see your bike. It scares him. He's been riding for decades, but your bike scares him. Oh, okay. I'm glad the party was okay. Right, let's try that again. There we go. Now I got a cursor. So we're going to Hoboken. Alright, that's that. So, let me see. Before... Oh, I didn't... Never mind. Is the door open? Doors are open. Okay. So, I want to go out and take a look around this station, since it's a different station. Uh, so, Droogie, what's, what's scary, what does uh, Corey find scary about your bike? Especially if he's uh, an experienced rider. And what do you have? Uh, Droogie says, didn't really feel like Christmas this year, to be honest with you. Okay, there's an ad for you. <laughs> um, Drinky says, I have a Yam Yamaha VMAX. The power band is kind of insane. Ah, okay. All right, not much else to see here. So... A lot of statues on this platform. I'm not seeing uh, any animated uh, passengers. Uh, Sai says, Ghost ride the train? <laughs> what do you mean? So, how much power are we talking about, uh, Drew? So yeah, none of these passengers are animated. Alright. Alright. And as advertised, uh, they did stop the clock. This is a open train. Uh, it's a 1200cc with... Uh, a V4 1200 cc V4 with 150 horsepower. Okay. Uh, tons of low end torque and 10,000 RPM red line at 5,700 RPM. Butterfly valves start to open and slowly force more air and fuel into the engine, called V boost, and a steady 20% increase in power from there to the red line. There's no dead spot in the RPM range. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know Yamaha made bikes that big. But I'm not really a, a bike and you know, a motorcycle enthusiast, so I'm not really up on the market. Has tons of power right from the start. Hard to control off the line uh, when you first got it. It's a very unique experience, okay?
How long you had it? What year is it? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, mile just outside of a mile to our next stop. See how we make out as far as being on time. We left on time. Maybe we can stay on time this time. But yeah, I find the hardest thing usually when I'm driving a new train to staying on time is getting comfortable driving at speed. Because until you're really familiar with the train and you get your, your controls and everything down and the speed limit changes and everything down, you're not comfortable driving at speed. And if you're not driving at speed, you stay late pretty much. So that's always the, the struggle when you drive something new. thousand feet according to my HUD. I'm not sure if I can trust that yet. I guess we'll see. Stop. So part of the routine is I'm also trying to get my announcements down. Because you're supposed to give certain verbal announcements to the passengers along the route. And that goes into your report card if you do it correctly or not. This is a Hoboken train. Next stop will be Hoboken Airport. Stand clear of the door. Alright, so we made that stop one time. See if we can keep it up. a red light. How long are they going to hold us? Hard to stay on time when um, you get held behind lights. Uh, Alright, that is a dead red. I am not allowed to pass. Oh well. Uh, about what? Just like stop announcements? Yeah. Yeah, all the different type of announcements are things that you get on your uh, report card at the end of the service. Uh, Recycle Basai says, gotta go, Kojo. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Okay, Sai, thanks for hanging out. Um, enjoy the rest of your holiday also if I don't uh, see you before uh, New Year's. And thanks again for the bits. And see you next time. Sitting at a red light, just waiting. Nothing I can do about it.
Uh, Drew says, report card. Well, this will be interesting. It has been over 20 years since I was grounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and these train sims tend to be pretty tough graders there, Drew. Especially in this series, the uh, World of Subway series. But I will say the ones on World of Subways 2 and 4, they're very fair graders. Like, okay, green light, let's go. Um, it is possible to get 100% if you do everything right. So I appreciate that. But then the one on World of Subways 3, the London Underground, I mean, basically the whoever does the grading there is a complete bitch. I mean, it's it's literally impossible to get a good grade. I mean, it tells you you did things wrong that I know 100% I did right, so. I don't know if they did that way on purpose just to troll you, or, uh, or um, <coughs> somebody just coded something wrong. So that, that report card, I kind of, you know, ignore most of it. I know in my head what I did right and what I didn't do right. Well, I should say, I know the parts on the report card that are accurate and the ones that aren't. Uh, Color says, just leveled up. That's enough of that. You leveled up in, um, in, um, and I, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the uh, train, so. Open BVE, Color, you mean? Alright, so our limit is 40 here. And we still got, oh, we got about a tenth of a mile to our stop. We don't have far to go. Came in way too hot. So that's gonna ding me. My report card. Right side platform, correct. A right side platform? Yeah. That's weird. So we're a little late getting out of this station. But that's not my fault. That's the red light holding us. Oh, the cashier thing. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you're playing it now. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I, I just thought you said you were streaming it later, Color. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, inside of a mile to Hoboken. That's actually the last stop. Short hop. Uphill and downhill grades through here to make this tricky. Ooh, 
which is, you know, it, it's also kind of weird. It's one of the things that fascinates me about a sim is you're driving something like this and you can actually feel it. Like you can feel it going uphill, downhill, you know, things like that. Even though really when you what you're talking about, you're just looking at, you know, you're looking at a screen, right? It's not like you're getting force feedback. And it's interesting how they design, you know, input cues and whatnot to give you that that sense of what it's really doing, even though you're really just looking at a video display. You know? One of the things I find fascinating about simulators, I guess. Not quite sure how they do all that. But, you know, I've never designed a game. Uh, uh, Color says, yeah, you will, just meant for now. Okay. I notice about this game is there is a good amount of cab sway. I know that is, <clears throat> excuse me, that is like a big thing with a lot of people who play train sims. Uh, one of the complaints a lot of people have about uh, train sim world is there wasn't enough cab sway until they introduced it just this fall. Or it wasn't any cab sway really. But if I remember correctly, there's no way to adjust it in this game. At least I don't remember seeing it. Um, I know when I started playing uh, World of Subways 4, the cab sway, in my opinion, was a bit excessive. It almost made me a little, a little, uh, a little sick. So I dialed it way down. Um, although in this one, it's not, it's not so bad. I mean, you can see it, but it's not. It's not. Ex it's not. It's not excessive, basically. Nice. Four minutes late. Oh, well. So I see where I got two minutes behind earlier because I was held at that red light. It wasn't really my fault. But then between here uh -huh. and the last stop, I lost two minutes. I'm not sure how. So I forgot I turned that headlight on and forgot to turn it back off. World of Subway 6, is that what I said? If I did, I meant uh, World of Subway 4. I think that's what I was talking about. Bam Bam, thanks for host. You done streaming, Bam Bam? You are? Or caller said yes, okay. All right, fifty percent on that one. <laughs> so, uh, baby steps. So let me see. Where did we get red marks? Did not stay on schedule. I know that. Uh, complied to speed limits. Okay. Um, speed limits and curves and it switches. Okay. Uh, no help from route monitor. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably never get that. 
Um, basically, I want you to drive without the HUD, which is really hard. Um, you don't have to, though. And what's the other one? Non-use of horns at stations. Did I blow it? No, that's not it. Switched off headlights at stations. Okay, yeah, so one thing I didn't realize when I started playing this is... By default, when the train activates, it has a standard set of headlights already on. So, in the manual, it has a control listed as headlights. And I thought you were just supposed to turn them on. But apparently, it seems like the lights that are in the manuals are high beams. So, you're not supposed to turn on those lights on the platforms. You're only allowed to use them in the tunnels. And I didn't realize that when... You know, the first couple times I started trying to drive it. And I kind of forgot about it. Like, I, I think I I started out with them off on this one. And then I got in the tunnel and turned them on, but I forgot to turn them back off again. So I got dinged for that as well. So, a lot of room for improvement. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Couldn't get focus. <coughs> Loser, Bam Bam? <laughs> That's rude, Bam Bam. I, I just started driving the thing today. Cut me a break, dude. Seriously. Don't be rude, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Um, I don't think I've driven this route. Hoboken to 33rd. I am joking. I know Bam Bam. Uh, so Hoboken to 33rd or 33rd to Hoboken. So what is that? 26. It's only 13... 13 minutes. That's not too bad. Let's give it a try. Try again in another night service because I don't think I get, really got a good a good idea of what it looks like rendered at night on that last the last couple services. Try to be on time this time. <laughs> I always try, guy, you know. All right, uh, all right, train selection. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drive the PA4 again. Uh, something else I need. Actually, you know what, before I do that, let me go back. I wanna check the, the options for a minute. Also, let me check something else. Uh, that work? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to check. There was something when I was driving the last service I said I wanted to check in the settings. Um, yeah, let me just look real quick. So, mouse speed, mouse smoothing. Control keys. Well, maybe try harder. <laughs> I I endeavor to do so, guy. We'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, you would think with a relatively short service, I should be able to stay on time, right? Uh, let's see, audio. Did I want to change something in audio? No, I think the, I think the sounds are okay right now. Um. Graphics? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much got the graphics settings cranked up as high as I can get them. And it seems to be performing okay, to be honest. Speaking of which, how long have I been running it? Almost two hours already? My God. Where does the time go? So I did apply the four gigabyte patch to this one, just like the other... Two of the other uh, World of Subways games. Um, I think the only one that doesn't need it is the the fourth one. Um, 
don't think that's what I was looking for. What was I looking for? Dead man switch. AI failures. I can't remember now. Damn. Old man brain, I swear. All right, forget it. Uh, let's do another run. So I'm going to try this uh, Hoboken to 33rd Street run, I think. Try something in the evening. Just so I can see what it looks like rendered at night. Uh, I'm going to drive the PA4. And uh, let's give it a try. So, guy, what you been playing lately? When you when you have had time to uh, to play. All right, so we're going to what Thirty Third Street. Remember correctly? Okay. Uh, let's have a look around Hoboken. I don't think I've been here. But yeah, as you can see, like it's got headlights on by uh, by default, and if I press what they labeled as the headlight control, then I guess I get high beams and I get dinged for using them. Uh, guy says um, you're playing DayZ. Oh, okay. You uh, been streaming it, guy? Actually, read the schedule. You can. It's paging f too fast to tell me if, for me to tell if uh, I can see my my service on there. Though. I think it's pretty cool that they animated that though. Too bad they didn't do that in any other game. I mean, maybe at the time they made the decision it was using too much too much resources, but I mean, this is 11 years ago, so. See any uh, anybody animated here? No. All right, not a particularly interesting station. All right, we depart in 20 seconds. Man, those announcements are pretty pathetic. They really are. side. Let's hit the reverser. Gauge the dead man switch. Release the brakes. Throttle up. Uh, guy says, no, you will be at some time. Thinking about getting Sims 4 with all the DLC and TSW with all the DLC. Oh, okay. Alright, so now that I'm in the tunnel, I can turn on the uh, the headlights, quote unquote, the high beams, really. Um, but, to be honest, the tunnels seem like they're pretty real, well lit. I think I can get away with pretty much never using the high beams from what I've seen so far.
guy, have you played any of the other uh, Sims games? So I think I played The Sims 1 and 2, but I haven't played one since then. So we got a ways to go before our next station, about two miles. And we could use a speed limit increase, matter of fact, there's one. Let's see if we can get it cranked up to 30. Uh, the guy says you have played most of them, okay. Coach says, I got the Sims 4 for free because EA was giving it away one day. Really? What platform did you get it for, Color? Or actually, is it only on PC or is it on consoles now, too? I'm not even sure. I think I've only played it on PC anyway. See, okay. <sighs> These are pretty, pretty nicely rendered tunnels. Ah, I watch my speed limit. Getting dragged downhill. It is on the PS4, says Guy. Oh, okay. So the Sims are on the PS4. Yeah, something in the back of my mind told me they were on consoles, but I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, you really don't need the high beams down here. Stop at 10.15. About a mile to go. We should be on time. See, guy got me watching the clock now. <laughs> trying, to, trying to make sure I can stay on time.
right inside of a mile. We're due in 90 seconds. Should be should be on time. Uh, guy says PSN has a sale on right now, up to 70% off, and some are 50% off. Nice. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> Sounds like he said Chrysalid Street. But that's that's because I got XCOM on the brain. <laughs> Chrysalid. Um, but yeah, the, the station stops on the HUD here are all abbreviated, and I don't know all the uh, stations yet. says he said Koji would not be on time. <laughs> That's rude guy. I meant to separate you and Bam Bam. You guys should be a bad influences on each other. Sorry, I was joking. I know. Still don't know what he said. Oh, wait, I can read it. Christopher Street. Okay. And we are on time. Barely. No, we're actually late because now we're late to depart. Wow. Left side platform. Kojo will not be on time. Yes, it seems you are correct. Yeah, departure was supposed to be 1015, it is now 1016. He said, oh look, we're here. Guy says he is right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see if we can make up some time. I don't know if we can without speeding, but I'll try. I mean, I was obeying the speed limits. I mean, it seems to me the, uh, the route schedule is, uh, is not work working with me here. I was crawling along at 20 miles an hour forever when I could have been doing 40 like here. So I'm blaming dispatch. Yellow signal ahead, why? Slow to 15, that's why. Because this corner, you don't want to derail. Yeah. Uh, not here, I take it. Am I supposed to stop here? Um, doesn't look like it. Am I? Uh, 
Uh, let's open the doors. Let's see. Oops. I guess I am. I think I did that well. For some reason I didn't see 9th Street in my next station display, but... Apparently I just didn't see it. Alright, so still a minute late. At least we didn't lose too much time there. Oh wow, they're right next door to each other. Look at that. These brakes are weird. a little bit of time there. Even though that station was right next door to the other one. I don't know how I actually lost time, but okay. Tight schedule. some randomization in the way he says it. Not that either either way is particularly good. It still sounds like shit. But it's not the exact same voice clip each time. So this particular leg, everything's underground. There's no above ground sections, I guess. And I got a red light. Head. Oh, that's not my light. Switched over. Okay. And we are two minutes behind schedule.
That's not a good camera spot. Alright, significantly better grade that time. Still weren't on time though. Um, so 78% is a lot better than 50%. Uh, so on schedule, got ding for on schedule, passenger friendly braking. So brakes a, a little abrupt, gotta smooth that out. Complied to speed limits and the no hook from route monitor, we're just gonna ignore that. So, pretty good grades, just three more things to do. Time and speed at this point. I gotta watch my speed limits, plus try to stay on time. But, hey, improvement is improvement. Alright, uh... You know what? Let me reboot the game at this point. So yeah, being one of the uh, four gigabyte patch el eligible games, we had a rule. We we decided to to make sure those games uh, get rebooted after about two hours. So it's been two hours. But other than that, this seems to be running pretty pretty stable. I mean, I haven't had any crashes or any weird, you know, graphical glitches or anything. And I got the graphics settings cranked up pretty good. So uh, considering how old this game is and how, how what I really expected of it, I'm, I'm actually... Uh, impressed all things considered it's, it seems to be running pretty well Whoops, what happened there? That was weird. Uh, do I still have World of Subways 3? Yes. Yep, I have it installed. Um, give me my cheat sheet, please. And stop doing that. Here we go. Ah, lost my cheat sheet again. Let's try this again. Do you mind? I don't understand. Where did you go? One second Windows is doing something weird while my main menu is in this strange uh, configuration here. There we go. That's better. All right, try that again.
All right, that's better. Work. All right, I think I'm going to try this one <clears throat> from uh, World Trade Center back out to Newark because I'm pretty sure this one goes back outside. And I still want to see the game rendering in the, at night. I want to see what it looks like at night. Um, let's try the 2R again. that damn it every time this thing changes resolutions on my game screen it reorganizes my second screen and it's really annoying me let me see if I can fix it real quick uh. Like I say, fun with old game engines. They do weird things. Uh, do not quit, okay. All right, so we're going to Hoboken. seconds. This is a new train. Next stop will be Exchange Place. Turn on the air conditioner. Time to go. We're leaving the World Trade Center construction area. And I'm already speeding. All right, speed limit increased to 40. I think he said. <clears throat> and 
lose too much speed. So we keep it to 40 here. Half a mile now. The other thing is, I don't have a good sense of our speed limit transitions yet. So there's our yellow, probably have to slow down here. Although I don't see any speed limit signs. Red ahead. But not before we hit the station. So okay. So why did we get a yellow signal? Yellow signal usually tells you to prepare for a red, but I don't think there's another stop, another stoplight before we hit the platform, or another signal period. here. So we got in slightly early and we're leaving on time. Oh, you know what? I just noticed the switch indicator on my HUD. I didn't notice that before. So that's how I know when I get a switch coming up. Okay, I have to pay attention to that. I think they have the same indicators on Walter Subways too, but I, I kind of forget to look. Losing speed, must be pulling uphill. Um, Athelbert says, back in, your, back in your flight sim days, what kinds of things did you enjoy flying? Um, uh, fighter planes, Athelbert. I used to like uh, military flight sims. Any standouts? Modern day? Yeah, I like modern stuff, usually. Um, I used to like to play Falcon. There's a series called Falcon that you play, uh, you know, the, the F-16. Um, I played... Um, my preference was always uh, the classic, right? My preference was always uh, naval flight sims, but they were kind of fur you know, further and fewer between. But I used to also play uh, F F-14 Fleet Defender because the Tom the Tomcat was always my favorite fighter. Um, uh, guy says Ace Combat. I did I did play Ace Combat Six, and I had been planning to play Ace Combat Seven, but I haven't bought it yet. But Ace Combat is not really what I call a sim. It's kind of it has the graphics of a, of a simulator, but it, it, the, the gameplay is more arcade-like. But I, but I do like Ace Combat. I like Ace Combat a lot. Uh, hang on a second, let me get my stuff here. Um, yeah, but Ace Combat is the kind of thing I picked up when I knew I, I really didn't have time to play like my hardcore flight sims anymore. But I still found it pretty satisfying. Off 
And there was another game between Ace Combat 6, which was an Xbox exclusive, and Ace Combat 7, which is the one that's out now, that's multi-platform. Um, I'm trying to think what it was called. It was called... Uh, Ace Combat Assault Horizon, I think it was. And that was, a, that was a friggin' disaster. I hated that game. That was a game where they took all the actual flight controls away from you and basically put all your significant dogfighting events in quick time events. And I absolutely hated that game from top to bottom. Um... So I'm glad they kind of went away from that formula when they when they came back with Eagle Combat 7. But yeah, I had never played it before Ace Combat 6 because I never had a PlayStation. And everything before Ace Combat 6 was a PlayStation exclusive, so... And there's been other flight sims I've played over the years. I just, off the top of my head, I can't remember right now. said I went to the Midway Museum back when we were in San Diego. Oh, nice. Great variety of historical modern, na modern naval aircraft. Alright, we're finally outside. Turn some headlights on. Uh, yellow ahead. Speed limit is 20. So this is what nighttime looks like. It's not that dark. Or at least not dark enough. But it might be limits of the old graphics engine. Um, uh, Atherbrow says, I used to really enjoy Jane's World War II fighters. Oh, that's right. I used to play the Jane simulators too, Atherbrow. Totally forgot about that. Um... Matter of fact, I probably still have the uh, CDs around here somewhere. Um, Atherbrow says, and IL-2 Sturmovic always had a soft spot for World War II era dogfighting. Oh, okay. Uh, is that my red light? I think it is, but why am I showing green? Oh, it's not my red light, okay. The HUD shows green, but all I see is red ahead of me. That's considered yellow, okay. Time? Yes, we are on time. Woo -hoo. Okay. Well, we will be if I can stop within the next 20 seconds anyway. Uh, actually, we're going to fall out of time by the time I get out of here. by five seconds. Oh, well. Uh, Donna says, I have IL-2 Stormovic, Cliffs of Dover, and Cliffs of Dover Blitz. Really good games. Okay. Uh, the Brown says, I never played any of the IL-2 sequels, only the original. I have to check it out. Yeah.
Uh, Donna says the Steam version has added user mods. Used to be that you had to add them yourself. Right. I remember you were telling me about that when um, when you told me back when it was on sale, uh, like last month. Speed limit increased to 55. Warp speed, Mr. Scott. Maybe we can make up some time here. Since we're five seconds late right now. Um, guy said I had one for Windows 98. Um, which one, guy? Sorry, I missed, I missed what you said earlier. Uh, Ace Combat, you mean? Uh, Donna said, yeah, large mad pack that improves the game so much the devs uh, decided to have it added into the game for Steam download. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, four miles to our next stop, so we got a ways to go. Um, green signal here. Wow, look at all this traffic on the bridge next to us. It almost looked like, uh... Hang on a second, I need to cut power. It almost looked like one of those uh, wrecked bridges in XCOM. Alright, speed limit reduction to 25, crossing the bridge. Ethel Barrow says, oh God, I hope the XCOM universe is emerging with this one. <laughs> yeah, I wish. That's all right, we got Donna hanging out. I'll just get her to go across and shoot whatever's there in the face. She's good at that. Donna, by the way, have you uh, talked to Daffy's this week? I heard from him earlier in the week. Donna says, I'm not taking part in any more of your XCOM playthroughs. Okay, Donna. It's totally a voluntary, uh, <coughs> a volunteer army. I don't, I don't conscript people. Talked to him a few hours ago, trying to convince him to do shots at Tequila. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't know if, if, uh, if you were aware. Shots of tequila sounds like good medicine. So hopefully it takes up takes you up on, on uh takes up takes up your advice. All his troubles can be cured by tequila and jalapenos, yeah. Right. Probably right. Yum jalapenos says that the barrels. So, this train is not particularly hard to drive, but it also, at the top end, does not accelerate particularly hard. I mean, we got a speed limit up to 56 miles an hour right now, and I, I can't get the thing to get there. So, 52... 
Uh, now we got a reduction to figures. Reduction to 35, then 25, now 20. Oh, great. That was a pretty nasty transition. I'm glad I wasn't thrown into that switch. I would have derailed. Alright, increase back to 40. Now back to 55, man. I swear, this is just like, uh, just like NEC New York. Just so many, uh, almost sudden speed transitions. Expect your ding in the mail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of tricky. At the barrels, you like the uh, spicy stuff? All right, inside a mile and a quarter now to our next stop, which is what? I saw the Harrison. Harrison. Inside of a mile now. Let me cut power because I don't know what my next speed limit transition is going to be. Uh, Color says BRB making ramen. Oh, nice. Boy, I'd love some ramen right now. Alright, green ahead. Quarter of a mile to the platform. Call the ball, Maverick. Or technically, has three quarters of a mile. I remember my uh, days playing uh, carrier landing simulators. You pick up the meatball within three quarters of a mile, I think. Right side platform. This is a train. And we are about a minute late, unfortunately.
so that's done. Back color. This is the New York train. Oh, this is the last stop. Okay, I think so. This is the last stop. I think I said the destination board room. Let me take a look at it. Oh, I thought I was going to Hoboken. I, yeah, I made a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, says, I like how there's just a random mop, mop bucket in every station. Is there? Alright. So, we were... Less than a minute late in the end. But still late. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I have to do? Well, a better score again, 80% that time, but still a lot of things to clean up. So, schedule, I'm still a little bit off. Speed limits, I'm still blowing. Uh, did not set the destination display correctly, yeah. Figured that out at the end. I picked the wrong, the wrong, uh, destination. I picked, I picked Hoboken, but we were going to Newark. I just, I don't know. I picked the wrong, uh, schedule from the, uh, the list, I guess. Uh, also forgot to switch off headlights at station, meaning high beams, which I think I'm gonna just not use the high beams, period. Because I, I forget to turn them off. And let me see what else. That's it. Still better, yeah. Yep. Improvement. So, And we were only a little bit late that time. I, At least on that run, we didn't have any like station stops that held us up. Uh, sta uh, traffic lights that held us up anyway, I guess. Um, so, saw what it looks like, you know, rendered at night. It's not particularly impressive at night. Um, some of the other Sims that we play look, you know, pretty good at night, but that one, uh, you think I de departed from Hoboken? No, I, th I think it was uh, World Trade Center. Because I remember the construction zone we rolled out. But I, I thought I was going to Hoboken, but no, nah, I was going to Newark. I just picked the wrong schedule. Um, yeah, so, I don't think it looks particularly impressive at night, but, you know, it's an old, it's an old game. Very old game. All right, uh, and, uh, I'm not sure yet whether or not this is going to make my uh, my regular rotation um, of, uh, you know, subway sims. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting to see how it compares to the other three, the later games in the series. But uh, um, don't know how much I, I'm going to like streaming it. And a lot of the routes on it are like really short. I think the longest run, and I didn't do the longest run on this one. Um, 
because I'm, you know, I still feel like I'm still learning it. But uh, I think the longest run is 23 miles, so it's not really not not a particularly long, uh, long set of routes. But there are, you know, different routes at least, and there's three different trains. So I don't know. It might it might be one of those kind of things I stream, you know, a few times a year maybe, just like with the other Subways games. But uh, given the choice, I think I'd prefer to stream any one of the other three to the to this one. But um, we shall see. All right, folks. And with that, somehow it has almost been three hours since I've been streaming, which I don't know how the time flew by quite that quickly because it really didn't feel like three hours um but with that i think i'm going to wrap here folks um and uh i do plan on streaming again over the weekend i don't have to work saturday at all i do have to work early on sunday but um I might stream later on Sunday, Sunday evening, perhaps. Probably won't be in the afternoon on Sunday because, uh, unless it's early afternoon, I don't know. We'll have to see because uh, there is a, a big, uh, a big game for our local uh, football team, my Eagles, playing on uh, Sunday. So we will see um, about working around a, a stream schedule on Sunday around around that game and around my work in the morning. Uh, Ather Bro says, thanks for the streams. Kojo has been fun. Thanks, for, thanks, Ather, for hanging out. Um, and again, uh, glad you had a great birthday weekend last weekend. Um, I'm thinking about streaming something completely different tomorrow. I mean, part of me wants to stream um, um, uh, ETS um, a little bit because I still didn't finish my full quota of holiday package deliveries. So I think I have two more to do for ETS, but I don't think two deliveries is enough for the entire stream. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing something completely different. Something I haven't played before on, on Saturday. So we'll see. Um, and Sunday I might, I might, um, I might try ATS. Cause Dino, Dino was bugging me last weekend about uh about when was I going to start ATS, so I might I might start that. I'd like to start that sometime this weekend. It probably won't be Saturday. It might be Sunday though. All right, folks. All right, I appreciate y'all dropping in, hanging out as usual. Um, glad everybody had a good holiday. Glad to see everybody. Um. And just in case he's out there lurking, do miss our uh, mod Daffy's, who is uh, on a. A little bit of a uh, a break from Twitch. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. Taking a little tr Twitch vacation for uh, various reasons. Uh, but like I said, did talk to him this week. Glad to hear from him this week. And uh, we will uh, hopefully see him again soon. Although I'm suspecting maybe not till after the new year. But he didn't say specifically. We'll see, though. Um... And yeah, everybody is, is welcome. Again, thank you for hanging out. Um, uh, Color says, time to stream, to open Streamlabs. All right, Color, yeah, if you're going to be doing any streaming later, I will probably drop in for a while after I have a, a snack. Um, and uh, let me see. Immediately on the way out the door, is there anybody we can go in and say hi to? Um, oh, look at that. We got some uh, some new people decided to, not new people, but people who have decided to resume streaming who were on holiday break last weekend. Uh, any number of people we could go say hi to, but I think, I think I'm just going to wrap here and, uh, and probably not read. Hey, Lone Star, just in time to have me uh, to drop in this, to have me wrap the stream, Lone Star. <laughs> Boo, I know, Lone Star, I'm sorry. <laughs> late to the party. Better late than never, though, right? Lone Star, how was your Christmas, man?
Uh, caller said I'm streaming about 11.30. Okay. Uh, 11.30 Eastern, you mean, caller? Or 11.30... Uh... Oh, you're in the same time zone. I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, 11.30 Eastern. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably drop in for a little while. Uh, Lone Star says Christmas was very delightful. How about you? Uh, good. Had a nice Christmas. Um, and looking forward to a nice weekend, hopefully. 11.30 GMT. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> think he missed that one. <laughs> so, all right. All right, folks. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Friday night. And uh, thanks again. And hopefully I see some of you guys Saturday. All right. And I um, feel like I should be thanking somebody for something. Let me just check real quick. Um, yeah, thanks, Cy, for the bits because, uh, he, well, he's not here anymore. Um, thanks, Guy, and Bam Bam also for the hosts as well. All right, folks, that's it. I'll talk to everybody soon. Take care.